back to the second episode of Wednesday Walking Tours. So in the last episode, we've been walking westbound uh, along College Drive, along the walkable part of College Drive, more like that. And in the second episode, we're gonna do an eastbound walk. That means we're gonna walk back to the location of where we started in episode one. And right now I am at University Bridge. I said to be one of the major bridges in the city and it is currently rush hour right now. So you can see there is a very high volume of traffic. Noise pollution level is skyrocketing at the moment. It's also pretty congested because this is a very important junction. So, I guess we shall begin the walk. So, in case you didn't know, the traffic could wait in this junction for up to one and a half minutes. I don't know what is the average wait time is, but it or a lot of time I've been just standing here and count the wait times and the longest time I've seen was one and a half minutes so it's now it's in a green pattern and also a green light for us to go You okay, sir? You need a push? Are you okay? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going that way too. Big bikes, eh? Sorry? Somebody should put motors in this big bike, sir. Oh, yeah. They're too heavy to pedal. Yeah. I wish. It, no, it, it does not have gear, does it? Huh? It does not have gears, does it? No. Oh, that's too bad. It should have gears. It's okay when you're on the level road, eh? Coming up the hill, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day. Fun fact, most of this push button for crossing should be renamed press and hold because that's how they work. Let's see if it works or not. I really hope it does because the cross time here is very short. Wait. Wait time is long, but the cross time is short. And this is the only way you can get from the other side of the bridge to continue on College Drive.
Yep, you hear the chirping, that means how it works. And we have not even finished crossing, but it already capped down and the timer. Back to the point about how busy that junction is. You see there's a line of cars that is congesting the whole bridge. And because it's happening during rush hour, that is kind of the norm. However, there's also a slight influx of traffic lately due to the construction of an alternate route. So vehicles tend to flood on this route to get home during rush hour. So it's already bad and now it's worse in terms of traffic flow. We come across another press button. So this one does not have, this one is, the audio signal doesn't work. Uh, you, the speaker you see here is just for this, so that the light will know that there is a pedestrian waiting and turn green for you. You see it's so much more quieter when the cars are all coming to a standstill, so I think that noise pollution in the cities not from the people, from the cars.
you see that this traffic light here, it does have a light for pedestrians, um, for cars, but not one for pedestrians. That is because this light is actually a dedicated light for pedestrians only. And the cars have to stop when coming out. So I'm not sure if that's a hawk signal. I'm pretty sure it is. But it's a controlled light and it's not like a back button. It is scheduled to turn green. Light here. I am not sure if it works or not, but we're, our main goal here is the walking tour and not the signal. Oh, it actually works. Heard the chirps, it does work. another detour Finally, come back to the main junction of the University of Saskatchewan, which is College Drive and Bottomley Avenue. 
Um, I honestly don't know what's the correct pronunciation of this street is. Saskatoon Transit, when they do the announcement for the bus stop, it's Bottomley. But I feel like Bottomley feels more natural. But I will have to <laughs> consult someone to know the actual pronunciation of this. Oh, hey, get a green light for us right away. button that we've seen down there and it didn't work so I have very little belief that it will work. This is the bus parking area. There's two buses parking here, four down there. So what you're seeing is this one bus pulling over. We are approaching the end of the sidewalk but the walk is not over It's also a very chaotic junction, especially in the morning when the classes start and ends. Waves of people using this crosswalk. So we have to walk this way and then back up that way. So this little sidewalk here is accommodating the bus stop over here, which is a very important one. It's having every 10 minute service buses to the north northeast neighborhoods. I kind of like that there because I was thinking about like what is the direction. <coughs> so we keep going on the sidewalk. It actually just not end and there. It actually turns right. We go to the parking garage which is right in front of us and the residence house in a very distance far distance yeah. um, I do want to like pause over here a little bit because I want to show you something you theoretically can keep walking towards the pedestrian bridge over there because there's a little desired path and we're continuing on our path to College Drive and Campus Drive aka our ending point which was our first starting point in the last episode. I'm actually curious to see where 
how long this sidewalk is keeping me to. So on the side is College Quarter. Okay, so it's very funny. The sidewalk just ends right here. That means I'm gonna walk on the street then. This is an uh, internal and interior road of the uh, Sport Valley, like sport areas which are the stadium set of stadiums um, the field house and of course the stadium park it I love the fact that it just suddenly ends right there but we actually don't have to walk too long on this condition because there's a new sidewalk popping up right over there. Or technically, theoretically, not a sidewalk. Uh, it is actually the entrance to a electricity room. And this little path here is the entrance to the park head. But there's a little desired path. So I'm going to cross through. And if you keep walking that way, you end up at the pedestrian bridge. Like I said. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to walk up a little bridge. I'm going to walk up the bridge to take a photo for the thumbnail of the video. I figured that having a separate photo rather than a crop photo like I did from the last episode would be much better in terms of quality. So that's what we're doing. And I think like what the last episode failed to show you was a tour of how this bridge is. So there's some curvy lines like this, which is good for accessibility, but it decreases your vision. It increases, it adds some additional blind spots. So if you're a biker, you may not see another person on the bike that is going in the opposite direction as you. So this bridge is, I think, five meters taller than the road with the chain fence to provide safety it's actually pretty narrow for two bikes to bypass each other in my opinion Taking the thumbnail photo, we theoretically can go back the other way to go back to to go to our finish point. But you can technically watch that from the last episode, so I will be taking you on a new route. Going down the bridge again.
sidewalk feel very fresh and mint indicating that it might be a new one or a replaced one lately This is the Holiday Inn Express Hotel which is a very random hotel popping up on the corner of College Drive and then there's no other buildings inside I love that the crosswalk here is actually of a different material, it's actually laid out with bricks. It's kind of good in differentiation for drivers and also pedestrians as well. Might not be good for bikes because of the bumpy rides. So on this way, if you continue walking on that little path there, or this one, you both end up at the field house, which is a sport complex, sport and leisure complex run by the city. It feels very pleasant over here with the shades coverage of the buildings. I do hope that these trees do grow in the future. Um, I don't actually know, I don't actually know what tree type that is and I don't know how old they have been so if you can let me know what is this tree type and how much it can grow, please let me know. Across College Drive, that is where we started about this episode, and this is where we're ending the second episode of our walking tour. I hope you are enjoying. You have been enjoying the tour. Let me know if you want to see more walking tours like this because I really enjoy doing these. Maybe I'll make more, regardless of what you say. Just kidding. But yeah, thanks for watching.